imagine, yeah, I was just scrolling on the frigging internet as you do, and I see Tia and frigging Tamira, and it's so bloody crazy because they are twins. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows that, right? They've yep. worked together their whole lives, and apparently they're not close. Mm-hmm. And I was thrown for a loop, and I was just like, do you guys have siblings that you don't talk to? <laughs> or not close with? <laughs> not close with? Yeah. Yeah. I suppose so. Yeah. Not talk to. I plead the fifth. <laughs> uh, that shit will get me in trouble yeah not, not not that we don't talk but not close I have yeah. siblings that I'm very close to uh-huh. the ones that were born here so it's like it's like a two tier type thing the one that the born here is mm-hmm. we have our own group the trinity group okay. and then the what, the two that were born in Ghana they're a lot older than me as well mm. so I feel that there's just a bit of a a culture change Mm. not with my eldest brother because that's different i used to stay spend a lot of time in his house but i'm not as close to them Mm. so it feels like the ghana borns they have their relationship and then the british borns have a different Mm. type of relationship i mean my family there's a lot of siblings yeah Uh, like a lot so it's hard to be close to everybody. Mm. That's is. very pop, diplomatic. Pop, no, but for real. Okay, like, yeah. No, but for real. There's a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. So then what happens is there's like, there are like- There's there, fractions. There's, there's fractions. Yeah. There yeah. are fractions. Like pockets, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, fractions. there's pockets. Mm. Like we all come together when we need to come together, but there's definitely pockets. Yeah. Is it separated from like the family lines, like as in that mum and dad together? No. Not like that? No. Mm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, no. It's I, I think what it really is, is who gets on with who, who has stuff in common. Okay. You know, okay, so I think that's what it really is. Okay. I think okay. from a Tia and Tamira perspective, oh, sorry, do you want to, um, from no, a Tia and Tamira perspective, I think that's what it is. Because you know, with twins, you expect twins to be, just to be the same and get on. So when you have stories of twins not getting on, it's like, you lot are the same. So, but there's, there's, there are stories of twins like wanting their own identity. I don't know if that's their issue, but also that expectation that you lot are supposed to get on, but they have trying to carve out their own way and maybe feeling like in the other one's shadow and that type of thing. Like, you know, like parents will think, oh, it's cute, let's dress them the same. And then some twins are just like, no, yeah. can we just please be our individuals? Mm. And then it's like the twins, the twins, the twins. I'm actually about... close to the twins yeah. in my family. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they're probably the one of the closest set of siblings that I, I have. Are, yeah. they, are yeah. they like twins like Batty and Bench twins? They, I think that they will never live more than about 15 minutes away from each other. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Like, I think it's more my brother than it is my sister, to be fair. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, I can't see them ever living that far from each other. Yeah. They have the, yeah. They, they are battery and bitch. They had an argument, yeah? They won't mind me saying this. They had an argument when we were on holiday and mm. the whole family was shocked. We were like, <laughs> this is not right. Please stop it. It was really weird. But then they made up, like, really quickly as well. Mm. But, yeah. Twins. Twins. What would, t- what would it take for you to not be close to one of your siblings? <laughs> but the ones that I'm super close to yeah I don't know Seriously. because I mean me and my brother used to fight like proper fight I chased after him with a knife what oh, yeah, yeah that Gemini thing yeah because when I lose my temper it's a, it's a silly sight that, yeah it's not good so and he's not a dad's star side. I mean I under, well, I'm just saying I understand it and he he is probably the only person that can push me to Lose my temper like that. Okay. Like he knows how to do that. Yeah. But in adult age, no, I don't know. They're, I don't know what they could do because I read that they're, they're my homies. It's like, mm. whatever happens, I'm going to forgive you. I can't think what they could do, <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah, the ones that I'm close with, mm. same. I don't know. Yeah. Because yeah. we talk stuff out. Yeah, it, yeah, we yeah. talk stuff out. The sisters, we don't tend to argue at all. The brothers, they argue amongst themselves. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yes, it's my brother that we argue but, with. Yeah. Oh, see, no, me and my brother, we ne- like, uh, we've had two arguments. That's nice. Just two. Mm. Whatever. Yeah. I love wow. That. Mm-hmm. That's nice. And, oh my uh, gosh. Yeah. Do you know what is so mad here? Yeah? Because we was, um, I can't actually where we were, but we were somewhere, and we were having we were we were having a conversation, but we were disagreeing mm-hmm. kind of thing. 
And literally, we didn't realise that everyone was, like, literally stopped and, and was, was listening. So <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, not the disagreement itself, but how we were disagreeing. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because they were just like, no, what? This is a, a seriously mature conversation. Uh. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? It yeah. hasn't fallen. Into, but I just feel like that's just our relationship. Yeah. Like, there's just so much respect there that it doesn't even feel like disagreement. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It just feels like a conversation. Yeah, yeah. losing my favourite cousins is probably giving me all the trust issues in the world because they were like I had those brother and sister um cousins like we were just in each other's houses all the time and so it was my brother me and my brother and my two cousins favorite cousins and then they literally got the you're getting sent back to Ghana and they oh. really were and so that was like when oh. I was about maybe around eight, nine. And I remember then not long after that, if I've got it, the timeline right, I was sent to another foster family. So all of that, so yeah. cousins, like that was always the thing where, and then my brother was in a foster home because he was deaf, so he went to boarding school. So all my close people, me and my brother were like that. Um, so all my close family members that I would have probably grown up with and had that kind of security, yeah. they were all gone. So I know that that's why I have a lot of those type of like, Wary, being wary around people and stuff like that. But then I've got, then I think the closest cousin I've got now is Sabina. Big up, Sabina. Um, you two are very close. Yeah, yeah. like she's like Cody. Um, and our, we didn't know, I was working at hairdressers in Abbott Grove and um, she came in with her mum. We didn't know each other. And she was like, oh, can we get our hair done? Something going on because it was her father's funeral. And then, um, we would just start talking and then I mentioned Ghanaians connecting on Ghanaian stuff. And I mentioned my dad's name, they're like, hold on, who's your dad? They're like, nah. And then it was like, what? And then her dad and my dad were, well, we don't actually know the truth to, to this day, but they're either cousins or they were best friends in school in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Either way, they were running buddies in the 60s and 70s and yeah. being bad men <laughs> in, <laughs> um, in London, when they came to London. And so we just had that and naturally, just naturally, we synced and it's just been like, she's, yeah, she's the one person. She doesn't live here long enough. She lives in Ghana. Yeah, but that means you've got somewhere to over. stay. Yeah, but that's, yeah, that's you. house is amazing as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, you know that's know. like that's one of those like the universe just being like that you're you're gonna get your family because mm. to be random of all the hairdressers mm. and all, all of world. London, True. she goes into your one. Yeah, and right. think because my mum and dad divorced at a time when so that I think with family dynamics, my mum and dad divorced so. Mum then was like a working mum. She didn't do all the Ghana connections. My dad is the party guy. He was at every funeral, every oh, yeah. event. So everyone knows Coffee Jamfy in West London or in all of London, wherever he, he went far. <laughs> so because of that, there was no kind of, I, me and her would have been friends. Like we yeah. would have grown up as cousins. We would have been seeing each other all the time. So that was really random. And then we have another friend, a mutual friend, Emma Farr, big up Emma Farr. Um, I met her in college and for another friend, we've been friends so long. And I think it was, something at Bina's house, her dad turned up and her dad and my dad were there and they started catching joke and talking. Like, yeah, we used to all hang out together. Emma has mm. been my friend since college and we yeah. never knew until then. And she's like, oh, <laughs> like the universe is, is crazy. Like crazy. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. when we're the three of us together, we're like, imagine our dads were homies and not one of us grew up with each other or knew each other. Yeah. It's weird, man. <laughs> all right. My Welcome to Your Aunties Could Never. I'm Auntie AK, the auntie of all aunties, and I am actually here with... I'm Farah, your resident Caribbean queen. I'm Nana, AKA the Black Fairy, AKA Dark and Lovely. And I'm all things sugar and shade, Sade. Hey! hey. Rap, 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 rap. <laughs> Guys, what do you need to do? You need to book the like button, 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 book the like button. Do it. it. What else you need to do, guys? What do they need to do? I don't know. Sign up to stuff, memberships and stuff. Sign up to our YouTube membership. It just costs one ninety nine. Just one ninety nine. Cheaper than a bag of chips. Right, darling. <laughs> ah, when you're leaving your comments, make sure you only give us five stars and five stars only. Only if, if it's don't. not five stars, then return to sender, please. <laughs> Thank you. Keep that. Keep it <laughs> All right, guys. Look, it's no point in us pottering around, <laughs> diddying around, oh. procrastinating. Oh. Oh. Let's get it all off the table, off our chests. Diddy, there's a lot been happening. Okay. I'm literally even slightly tired of it. I just want it to get to the nitty gritty. Out. 
<laughs> I'm t- yeah, I'm tired. She's I'm tired. done with Diddy. I'm done with Diddy. <laughs> it's actually getting on my nerves now. Every freaking every way you look, it's Diddy this, Diddy that, Diddy this. But do we want to have a little recap of what's going on? Where are we at? Where did we leave off from last week and the, the week diddler. before? Man. Where are we at? What is the latest thing has been um, the, the book? Important. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, the children's the latest. Oh, oh. The, yeah, the children released a statement now yeah. on the back but, of. So before, mm. the children are responding to Kim Porter's book. Mm. Alleged. Which, yes. Um, the It has been written by uh, an author out there. <laughs> an but author. he is saying, the author is saying that he got the skeletons of the manuscript that Kim Porter was working on and then he filled it out with... Of course he did. He definitely with, did that. With stories mm-hmm. that were out there and mm-hmm. what he had been seeing. He was half reading Sunset Beach scripts light and light half reading light. that were alleged manuscript. <laughs> yeah. But So he's probably going to be sued, but this has taken the internet by storm and it's number one um, Amazon bestseller list okay. at this moment in time. It's been there for like five days now. So he's making a lot of money and there's a lot of shit in it. And then the kids. Mm. And I'll be sure. So, so yeah, I'll be. I'll be sure came out and he, what was he saying? He said that he wants to reopen the investigation into Kim Porter's death. Mm-hmm. Um, he did say take the book with a pinch of salt because there's some things about him that are a bit dis- I'm not sure about I'll be sure. Same. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Not sure, I'm not sure about him. I'm not sure about Watch Al. Mr. Shaw, you're not sure about how sure, be you sure. Are about Mr. I'll be Shaw? sure that I'm not sure about Al. Be sure. How sure are you not sure? Unsure. I'm very sure that I'm not sure about Al. Be sure. Are you sure? I'm positively. <laughs> are you sure? I'm not sure, sure. Why are you not sure about Al? Be sure. I feel like Al. Be sure is a little bit of a dodgy character anyway. Like, don't act like holier than thou and that you're, you know, I was there for Kim and she was the love of my life and da 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 da. You did some shit. Mm. Do you know what, what I mean? The, you did some shit and now you just want to. No, I'm no alleged. He wasn't there for his kids. He was. So no I think it was known that. he was a cheater, mm. and he didn't. He he was a terrible baby father. Yeah, couldn't see wrote a letter to him. Mm-hmm. Actually, like saying, "Why are you not in my life?" So he has all of that. <laughs> I just, I just like, I don't know, like the dynamics with. Okay, so the kids, Quincy, um, what's the other boy name? Christian, Christian, Christian and the twins, Delilah they, and Jesse. Yes, they have written a letter. Um, mm-hmm like a public statement, just basically saying, everybody, yeah. stop talking, mm-hmm. stop with your theories, your conspiracy theories, mind your business about my, our mum and our dad. Do you know what I mean? And like, this is not what her legacy should be. This is not how we want to remember her. Do you know what I mean? And just stop talking, essentially. And anyone that's saying anything is not a friend of her. Yes, mm-hmm. basically, like they, do, they don't, she never wrote a book. She wasn't thinking about writing a book. There was no uh, manuscripts or anything like that. And it's just like, I can't lie. It does make me think of more conspiracies. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. <laughs> because I'm just like, yes, I do want them to. I want to respect. Um, do you know what I mean? They're kids at the, well, yeah, they're kids at the end of the day. Yeah. Do you know what mm. I mean? And they haven't been asked to be brought into this world in any sort of way. And you know, do you know what I mean? This a whole circus around them. Mm-hmm. But I do think like it's interesting because accounts are not adding up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and it just shows there is like a, a, a severe level of control mm-hmm. that obviously that um, mm-hmm. Diddy has over their lives. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I just think like, will they ever be in a position where um, they have the truth? You know, it felt like a very PR statement. Yeah. That's yeah. what it felt like. Yeah. And it's just like their alliance to, you know, their father who has, there's video footage of him doing some heinous things is interesting within itself. I think when I read the um, statement, I was looking, because I saw the first one about my mum and father, but the rest at least was about, I say at least, I don't even know. The rest was about Kim mostly. So I was was really hoping that they didn't defend their dad, which I don't think they did. Um, It was a PR. I mean, I feel like, I don't know if they're being used or pawns in this moment. It, I was expecting something to come out of them. I was expecting them to say something because you, this is just all par for the cause. I well, thought I was going to go straight to um, suing. Like actually being like, this has to be removed and there would be more of a case, which I hope they do. If you're saying this is all fictitious, yeah, they, your mum's face is plastered on yeah. something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the boys right. are old enough to take these things into hand and be like, we're going to sue over the, this and it needs to be removed. But the boys were in the mix. Allegedly, but they're, Allegedly. They're, they're just Other than Quincy, not Quincy. Not. He hasn't been around anything. Quincy, Quincy's name has not been named. It's Christian he, he, and it's yeah. Justin. And, and Joss. Oh, do you know well, what Quincy has Quincy. no cases against him, yeah. and I'll be sure 
did also post like frequency. Which is <laughs> such a good like frequency. Frequency. You know, like frequency and frequency. frequency. I was like, I thought it was great. But anyway, yeah, so he, <laughs> he is like, he wants his son home. Mm. But I think he has to atone for the years that he yes, wasn't he there. Does. And they, they did but then, Go on. Oh, sorry, but out of the, but it's just like, now I want to know, is that the reason he wasn't able That's to be in to Quincy's say. life? What like, about the other kids? Because, the, the because of, like, yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, what and about also, the other kids? sorry? His other kids. Yeah, he's supposed to be a shit dad to them okay. as well. But like, who, kn- I just don't know. I don't, I don't want to make excuses for him. I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing that. But like these conditions are very unique. Yeah. Mm. Like, do you know what I mean? So like, I don't know, like who knows, like if there was like a thing that Diddy might have said, allegedly, whatever, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> you can't see any of your children. Like, do you know what I mean? You just in don't know. Oh, no. I'm like, yeah. I'm them all. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you just don't know what yeah. kind of reach he had. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's crazy. It is crazy. I just um, don't know. I don't know. about. How do you feel that they're saying that he's on suicide watch? And apparently I saw one headline saying he's on a hunger strike. There's yeah. this guy. Like, they're, they're making there a headline. All There's the a things. guy. Uh, he must have just bust out of jail, right? I'm not bust out of mm-hmm. out of jail and he was on I don't know some CNN late night thing or the other mm. he was talking about yeah Diddy's not in a good way <laughs> like, just... he's not eating <laughs> like and then 50 saying no no Suge Knight had literally from prison had an interview mm-hmm. I can't remember the show and that he was on he's got a podcast yeah no, but I'm just saying but he got <laughs> an interview from CNN. prison yeah. to come and say yeah mm. you know apparently he's going well, I don't know if he's said it apparently but he said Diddy's going through withdrawal symptoms mm. and he's he not in a good be. way so like everyone's got the tea man's in prison I mean they would I suppose the prison network yes. is on fire. The yeah. hotline's on fire. Yeah, the phone's on the string. Exactly. <laughs> the cup's on the string. You've got lines. phones, you've got people Our on Kelly's his wing. Kelly's been hitting him up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this, I don't know. So where do we... And his latest <laughs> lawsuit. Yeah. He has yeah. a fresh new one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the lawyer, it's Gloria. The yeah. surname comes out of my head, but everybody knows of her because yeah. she was the one that were, had all the women against um, Cosby as well was yeah. involved mm-hmm. um with wine scene a few of the women too and this woman is saying that her footage her assault is actually being shared yeah. like it's mm-hmm. been sold so Damn. there's another layer to what diddy could have been involved in but it was on the back of that live that they did where they did their news conference like this is why we're suing him then his lawyers came back and was like diddy's on a hunger strike mm. there was no rebuttal mm. that was there Next thing, he's on a hunger strike. Too much noise. I think it's Do too... Do think he's going to make it? I don't to even get like, to trial? I don't know. He's got a bit of any... Um, white, what's his name? Not Epstein, Epstein. flavor. It's giving Epstein. It's giving Epstein. It really I, is. I, I don't know. Because... I, I don't know. He knows a lot of things about a lot of people. And there's and a seems lot of people out there. a lot of things. Yeah. And about. it's just like, there's too many famous people... Mm. that seem to be involved absolutely that's the thing and i think that's the similarity with epstein as well kind yeah. of thing like having true, that true. which is different from r kelly yeah right. r kelly exactly. was more unknowns do you yeah. know what i mean mm-hmm. heinous still obviously yes. but unknown but this is but this yeah. is yeah do you know yeah. what i mean yeah. too many people have got a lot to lose mm-hmm. like it's because like Providing. you see meat Me- Me- mill doing what oh, you call 100K it 100k investigation like, <laughs> yes so i'm just gonna say <laughs> do you know what i mean like absolutely crazy wow. coming out doing like you know like any Anyone who could, anyone could get it, kind of thing. You could, if you can free me, essentially, do you know what I mean? <laughs> From this bondage. Like, if like, but who like, was caring about Meek Mill? No, we were may, even talking he about him. But the thing, but, the, he was, but his name comes up. Yeah, is like does. he is like one of Hide. Diddy's boyfriends. Yeah, like, do you know yeah, what I mean? Like, that. huh? No, 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 not only. How, that. how do you find the, the uh, outlet? Allegedly, yeah. Let me say. But how do you find the outlets that uh, have put this out there? It's like, it's been done. We weren't talking about me. No, that his no, name comes no. up when, simultaneously. Yeah, because when the, the list of like who Diddy is abused or yeah. taken advantage oh. of, it is Meek Mills, Justin Bieber, Usher. Yeah. Um, that's probably the main yeah. ones that come that up. And then his names. boyfriends, yeah. like his alleged uh, French Montana, mm. Fabulous. Yes. Um, so what, Meek and... will pay 100K. It makes no mm. sense. But I, I, I'm not understanding. But who gets some? I will try and get this money to, <laughs> to prove that it didn't happen. Basically, to investigate the. It's a weird thing to say. Yeah, it is very strange. To, uh, yeah. It's like, what did he say okay. when they, when they came out and they were like, "Oh, he's been with men." Mm. He came out and said something like really wild about 
I would. I, I love women too much. He was got very graphic yeah. about mm. what, how he loves. Oh women. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but mm. you don't need That's to respond fair. that. You it's know, just fair. quite. Do you know what I mean? Not the sharpest tool in the no, week. No, that. But people <laughs> are really feeling for Justin at the moment. Do you know what I mean? He's yeah. getting a lot of concern. Bieber. Yeah. Bieber's been they're getting saying, concerned for a while though. Mm. But they're saying that, surprising. They're saying that he he himself is concerned about Diddy's situation. So I don't know. I don't it know. could I be want, that you know. I want all this. T- that's strange. No, for stop. ages ago. Stockholm syndrome. That's it. Thing. I was going to say something yeah. else, but that's exactly what I meant. Because yeah. Bieber quit music, came back. Had to sell his, um, his right. masters. Yeah, his yeah. masters. And, and yeah. that was all the whole thing that he was saying. Like they, he Didn't he have a little bit of a break? Yeah. They tried to. Yeah. And he had a yeah, sickness yeah. as well, didn't he? Yeah. He, yeah. yeah. He, he, he had like, that palsy. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, yeah, yeah, but mean, then he was like or, mentally. Who knows? Like, do you know what I mean? He else. went into the church. Yeah, Hill yeah. song as well. He yeah. became, mm. and we hear about and he got song. married. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's all in the same circles. Do you know what I mean? Dad now too. Yeah. yeah, he just had a baby. Mm-hmm. Him and Haley. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if he's allowed. He, and he's what's not a bit strange? Mm, I can't say. That. I can. Go. Haley Bieber's um, dad is isn't he in Scientology or something like that? Isn't Haley Bieber's dad a bit? Oh yes. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. thought he was the leader of Hill song. Isn't he like oh. the head pastor? Is that the... Oh. oh. I, thought, I thought her dad was the head pastor of I know Hillsong. he's in some sort of... Because everybody says Hillsong is a, is a cult. A cult. Yeah, that's... Allegedly. He's in Allegedly. some sort of yeah. cultish mm-hmm. type. Yeah. Thing. I mean, it's all too much. It, it is. is. It is. Yeah. I like everything. Are you hearing he's about hearted. Mary J. Blythe as well? Like, what's her I've heard one up? thing about it and okay. it hasn't come back up. Oh, oh okay. and she's yeah. in the book. She's okay. in the book. She's yes. in the book. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Very much in the yeah. book. She was uh, yeah. doing a thing with Diddy or had allegedly and what the, her, her name was in there. Yeah. Multiple orgy like situation. But she did say yeah. that, you know, um, she li- I, I don't know allegedly all the stuff that would, that's happened or not happened, but she has said before that she was taken advantage of and, you know, mm-hmm. she wasn't in a good place within herself and obviously she was on stuff yeah she had as an well. addiction so yeah yeah, exactly. yeah she had that's, spoken that's about her wild days yeah. yeah so mm-hmm. yeah you know yeah and, and then she made that statement out of nowhere when diddy's name first started popping up in mm. this saying that i won't be taken for granted again or disrespected yeah. or some something along those lines and me is her brethren no mm-hmm. yeah yeah very much so yeah there's a lot there's a lot because we it, I, yeah yeah there's a lot yeah <laughs> i was gonna say like the the widest statement sorry that the kids done like is just like I'm just like my spider's senses is because isn't it the girl from Diddy Dirty Money? She also done a statement, didn't she? Yeah. Saying yeah. like very vague, very kind of like, um, you know, there's nothing going on, but like mm. this is my position, which is very similar. Like yes. not my mum and dad, but like you know, st- stop. Keep my mum's name out of your mouth. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the energy yeah. that really. It's very kind of like. It seems uh, if it was the same company person <laughs> that was behind that, I wouldn't be <laughs> surprised. I feel you. It's got the same he tone. Used AI it really does. <laughs> to write it might be Chat GPT. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's the same tone. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. so, so mm. where are we at with Diddy then? Where are we at? Uh, where? But, like, yeah, he's inside. All this stuff going around. People now, lots of rappers are disassociating with the ones that can. Ice Cube was on stage saying, I wasn't at no parties. And like, he couldn't wait to jump up and say something. Soldier Boy's saying everyone that was with Diddy is G-A-Y. I don't know what's wrong with him. But they, all the homophobes are coming out as well. Yeah. So, I don't know. You know who I thought actually added another shade to it oh was, God. and I'm very, very surprised, other than Umar, <laughs> kind of defending... Defending Diddy in a way, but actually um, Dame Dash did uh, an interview type mm, of thing, like to did. camera, where he was just saying, you know, it's very hard for people who were around Diddy at the time who consider him peers, like there was a brotherhood mm-hmm. within rap, mm-hmm. as much as he wasn't around him a lot since 2005, it's still like, that was my peer. And mm-hmm. I still yeah. admired what he had done and see his kids as my nieces and nephews. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's real. When you really are in an yeah. industry with somebody, even if you are like, mm, they're a little bit dodgy. You don't know all the dodgy shit, yeah. but you are like, they're not my person. You're still going to be like, I can't now do interviews cursing this dude out yeah. that's, when he was a peer of mine. Remember that's what I was saying about LL people but that's coming a out and real making, statement. No, yeah. that's it real, was the way he exactly like illustrated it. I was yeah. like, that's... At least you're giving an answer, a thorough mm. answer. You're not doing the, you know, all I think about is the kids and you're keeping it moving. You're actually like, explaining 
what it was like to be in that fraternity mm. with with these people. You grew up with him. You've known him for 30 years mm -hmm. and this is coming. Yeah, you would feel a bit like, this is shit. No, I, I wouldn't I, want this to happen to you. Mm -hmm. I've heard, I've heard, I mean, Dame oh, Dash is Dame Dash is Dame Dash. Yeah. His explanation is good for clarity, but I think also, again, people are unpacking in their own way. And I do, I think someone said it like, some, you don't even want your name to be Googled and it's associated with this situation mm. because everyone's thinking about, yeah, this man's fucked up. Fucked his own brand up. So me too. Let me think about myself. I'm going to be strategic. So yeah, what I'd rather is a, I'd rather a no comment and have my comments with the people that I care about or my close circles, if they're even going that far or they're hiding their guilt, whatever the case is. I'm, I'm for, if you're going to, if you've got time, Dame's got time because he's been talking about a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's, he, yeah, you know, he's accusing Jay-Z of... Smart slander. Well, he's trying. He's trying to sell his, um, his shares, shares, isn't it? But he's it? saying that Jay Z's trying to buy them. He doesn't want Jay Z to no, buy I them. No, but he's saying that Jay Z's um, put people out there to downplay how much profit <laughs> the value, they'll make because of, he yeah. wants to buy no, them. No, I get yeah, it. I'm just saying, but he's just like. It's just funny. Um, that is business. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was just like, <laughs> yeah, of strategic. course you're going to yeah, yeah. drive down the price yeah, so I can yeah, buy yeah. them for cheap and get shares of my company. Yeah, and also... Like, no. And you don't like me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's, like, it's straightforward, yeah. but it's also like... Do you know you're, 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 How much is your 100? I think 100 million back in taxes or something? He has everything. Not 100 million. It's, no, it's, right. um, it's the lawsuit. Child maintenance. Child and maintenance and, and the lawsuit. Tax. I thought there's tax involved as well. I, I think sense. the lawsuit is the main thing and mm. it's such a shit film. But he went and slandered mm. <laughs> the director and the director won. Mm. And so he just has so many. He likes me. He, he used to talk about, I'm, I'm in court for this, I'm in court yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah. Now it caught up with you, isn't it? So mm. you've got to sell something. And that yeah. seems to be one of his last assets. Yeah. Apparently Drake wants to buy it. But oh, also, none of them want to be nice. in business with Drake. Drake yeah, you don't. Yeah. Colonizer. You, you know what I mean? Nice. I feel like if he really hates Jay-Z, he should just sell to Drake. No. Just no. But I think he He'll also hold out. Drake. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> you don't like Dame, don't who, does, who does Dame like? Do you know what I mean? Fair. Anyone. And no, he doesn't like anyone. No. Do you know what I mean? And the thing is as well, like, I can't really take him as like a measure... Of anything, do you know what I mean? Because he's a bit dodgy, isn't he? A little bit, like, seriously. A bit. Like, and I'm still, he's still mentioning Aaliyah to this day. I know. And I even that whole thing is weird. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Like, what's yeah. the age gap? Yeah, it's weird. Crazy. But all, all of them. Exactly. All of them are weird. But the so thing is, the like, thing. coming now in 2024 to be able to reflect on your behaviour and say, you yeah. know what, that was actually wild. We shouldn't have been doing that. Mm -hmm. I now know better. I would never. Do you know what I mean? Seeing that play out with someone who's allegedly actively still doing that in 2024. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can condemn that. You're just mm -hmm. choosing not to because of this bro code or whatever the streets are saying or what the rules are in frigging hip hop that doesn't even exist as it did the Back in the day, anyway, and the it's ridiculous. Of like all the things are coming out that it's not that half the guys that were talking about they were gangsters about to shoot everybody. They just came out of jail. We're not performing mm -hmm. art school, middle class homes, work yeah. from the ghetto. Yeah, it's a sad state of affairs. I think that's the thing. Like Diddy's crumbling actually is really symbolic for a whole music genre yes. that is also crumbling in yep. the same way, and yeah. it's full of exactly. fakeness and exploitation, manipulation. All of the shits, and yeah. he's just a symbol of that. Yep, it's yeah. sad. Uh, yep. I, I think out of uh, chaos comes new beginnings. Yeah, yeah. And that's what can I you hope we'll go. About. Yeah. Watch the party die. We'll, yeah, let's watch the party. I, I, I feel like. Um, Oh, her name's gone out of my head. Don't you? Darts. Yeah, don't, don't she? Don't I feel you? like she's okay. the new beginning. I love she her. Is. I do love her. I really like her as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, let's get into well, another well. More pe another, more guys that have caused the storm, shits and gigs. I think they we were talking about how they just gone back to normal. However, on the back of that conversation, whether it was related to or not, she didn't ne necessarily mention them. London Hughes was doing a get ready with me or get watch me literally run out the house because I'm going out. But she was speaking to camera about her experience of being a black British woman in the UK mm -hmm. and her dating experiences. And she was saying that, you know, when she was in the UK, black British men didn't, make her feel nice, made her feel like she was ugly. She says the worst insults she got about her looks were from black men, black British men. Mm -hmm. So I think the question that she was responding to is if you're not dating black British men, who are black British women dating? And she said, white guys. White guys like Benaya in Love is Blind UK. <laughs> um, she said, I had a run of Benaya's. And um, 
But yeah, she said, but then she said, because she's moved to America now for better prospects, she said she's been dating blackity black black and it's been wonderful and she's been made to feel like she's beautiful. And she's like, yeah, it's a new lease of life that I'm experiencing because I'm feeling loved, I'm feeling beautiful. And yeah, she, now she's dating black men again. Um, but that caused some backlash. People were like, I had a friend who was very offended saying she's disparaging black men and on the back of shits and gigs, I'm sorry, black British men and on the back of shits and gears, it's just giving us a bad rep. I kind of was like, you guys had a bad rep already. But anyway, but yeah, I don't know. How do you feel? Because they was had some a bad... bad rep, but we weren't talking about it. We weren't actually outing them. Oh, so you think she's outed? I, I think I think what she said is spot on. I think mm -hmm. it's the truth. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's actually been like a truth that's been held amongst us. Like, okay. you know, if you go on numbers wise, I think... There, there's no comparison. I think black British men generally, I'm not going to say a majority, but a large amount of them, their preference is white. And we've kind of like just accepted that this is their preference and not questioned them really. And now they're being outed and they're seeing the backlash and now they're being like, and it's not all of us. And it's like, dude, it's enough. You know, you've got a bag of bread and that's their preference. Mm. And they'll talk about it. It is a black British thing. I don't think she's lying. What do you guys think? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the most bl British black men are with black women. That's the majority, right? Do you know what I mean? Actually, However, it's not anymore. The census is out. It actually isn't. Black British, especially black British Caribbeans, are not with black women. The okay. major It's actually, I think it was 60-40 the last time I looked. But black African... Mm -hmm. It still is the majority, but it was 60, 40 the other way. So it's still not great numbers okay. for black people yeah. in this country. But I country. think overall, and there's more black British Africans than there are Caribbeans now. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So like overall, um, yeah. Like, I just don't know. I feel like at the end of the day, you know, unfortunately, w the way we're socialized here is a thing. Like, do you know what I mean? We have to consider that. Like we are kind of like the product of our environment. I'm not making excuses, 100%, I'm not making excuses, but we're the product of our environment, do you know what I mean? So like, I think like the guys here are socialized to think that, you know, dating outside their race is the, should be the norm mm. and um, is looked upon as like, you know, like a status thing sometimes yeah. and everything like that. I don't think though that, I don't, you, I, I hear her experience but and that's her lived experience, but my lived experience is not the same as hers. And mm -hmm. it's not the same as many of the black women that I've known <laughs> now over the years and everything like that, they majority date black men. Like, do you know what I mean? So I do, while sh there's validation in what she's saying for her experience, that is not the whole of the black British woman experience from my experience, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like, I think that, but because she said it in her way that was sensationalized, it kind of seems like she's making this big statement for the, the majority of us, do you know what I mean? And yeah. like, yeah. the Americans are taking it all like, okay, that's what you guys do over yeah. there, yeah. that yeah. you date white men. It's not the norm, no. it really is. Not for a black woman. No, no it no. isn't. I, I think it's still a very marginal experiences yeah. for a black woman to be like, I date white. I think that yeah, you're going to expect potential. backlash. You yeah. you can be ousted by your friendship group. Like these things happen. Do you know what I mean? When you, as a woman, a black woman, you date outside your race, and they still happen today. Yeah, you should. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's not it's not seen because you even see we see it all the time. Like, there's many, um, um, let's say, like very popular um, black women within our space, like, do you know what I mean? Who date white and people be saying stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? And like invalidating their blackness because yeah. of their partner. Do you know what I mean? Which yeah. you don't see the other way around. Yes. Like, do you know what I mean? You don't see that the a black guy that's dating a white woman is not le any less black, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you I know? Think it depends on the person because that, that definitely does come up when, especially if they're, put themselves in the forefront of speaking on behalf of the people or something like that. I, I've definitely heard of black men being you know, like, how black are you? And all of that stuff. But yeah, I have, I've heard it as well for black men. Mm. What do you think? It's interesting because um, there's this rhetoric that us black women, when our black men folk 
date white that we hate it so much, so passionately mm. that <laughs> we're rolling around in the streets and saying, I hate right. you, we want to burn them at the stairs. We're looking at them in their faces away. and we're saying, get away from them. <laughs> you know, we don't do that shit. Um, we don't care. We don't give up, fine. <laughs> anyway, but it's interesting when that's flipped, mm. isn't it? Like, I don't like... I don't see the same sort of, um, I don't see women talking about women in that way. I don't know, it's just weird. I find it really strange that that rhetoric comes from men when it's like, this is how we see you. Mm. Maybe but it's like, the, what, thing, what I'm trying to say is like, yeah. they don't, they have a problem with it when we date white or it's a bigger, it's a, it seems like almost like a bigger thing mm -hmm. when a black woman's gonna start dating a white man, mm. you know? as opposed to that's it's okay thing. when yes. they do it. That's yeah. what I'm yeah. trying to get. Like it's yes. normal. Yes, that's what I'm trying to get. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Do you know that's what I mean? That's what we've done though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they, don't yeah. they don't get the backlash because we don't care. Yeah. So it's then made it more prevalent mm. because there hasn't been the backlash. But in America, there is more of one. It's not also expected seen as okay condoned Changed like you're going to have more family pressures but it's been seemingly normal yeah, here, yeah, here, for yeah, a lot yeah, longer yeah, than yeah, it has yeah, in america yeah, yeah. Yeah. and that's the thing so now it's changing and there are black women it, it's like i feel like there's been a lot of black british men that have been very comfortable with black women being like i can't find a man yes yes that, and, just and then as that, soon as that rhetoric the changed and it was kind of like well if you guys ain't on it i'm going this way mm. then it turns into yes. a problem yeah, yeah where yeah. it wasn't a, we weren't doing that yeah. to them yeah. okay it was like okay you. there you go yeah. or you you spot them in it sometimes you're even surprised are oh, you date black women because it was like but that's the, yeah mm. that's the no. thing i think mm. they got comfortable in us just being compliant to their shit yeah. and yeah. then once people started to find another way now it's a problem. Yeah. Now it's like, oh, this is what that you guys what? do. It's yeah. a crisis now. Yeah. It's no, a no. crisis. What, what it's a pandemic. What, what can we do? What can we do? They don't yeah. want us. <laughs> no. You don't want us. You don't want us. <laughs> like, what, what, what were people's... Like, somebody like London Hughes, who that is her lived experience, mm. what was she supposed to do? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, up, exactly. Up, just sit there. Simple. Just, just wait. Yeah, simple. just sit there. Like, and who's she waiting you know what for? I mean? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then they're going to tell her she's too old. Because yeah. yeah. they're looking yeah. at people who are 30 years younger People will say that she's not even nice. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Average that bit. Yeah. Horrible. What was you doing? Chasing your career? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. The You're too independent. That's another thing. You got too much ambition. I think I saw that in the comments. Like, well, someone like her, like, if she's not even whatever. She's not uh, Jamil. She's not a homebody. She's out there trying to chase a career. That's how we black women, that's all you do. Um, I have much to say. I think, yeah, it's her lived experience. The only, I guess, in quotes, mistake she made was like saying, that's what we black women are doing. It's not everyone. It's her personal experience. And it is what it is. I know there's black men out there. It's like, I guess it's what James was saying. Black women were horrible to me. So then I decided, well, he didn't say that. He just said black women were horrible to me and it bullied him. So this, is, I guess, alludes to why he possibly prefers white women or other ethnicities. I just don't but believe that bullshit. I don't no, believe but it. But that I'm saying. No. I know that's what he said. I'm just yeah, saying. I'm but just like, saying I don't want like it to repeat it with validation because no, I don't yeah. believe him yeah. at I, all. I think, I think he was an arsehole. Yeah, like, they, they will. Is, yeah. But exactly. They, I just want to, because <laughs> people, it's like I am more empathetic to when I hear a black woman saying that than I am to a black man saying that. So I'm saying that they're in some, in some of those situations. Hang on, which way? Well, I don't I am more empathetic to a black woman saying, I found it hard to find a, a black man that liked me, so I started dating white, than a oh. black man saying it. But then there is going to be some people that, black, whether they're male or female, are going to have that real true experience. Okay. okay. We can't, because I think there's a lot of the times I don't have time to hear when a man, black man's saying that, oh, um, you black girls didn't like me. Because I'm like, no, nah, because for me, my bias, if it's what it is, you guys do the choosing. Lying. So you yeah. have more I, no, options. I, I get what you're saying in theory. I just think like with James... I'm not talking about James. Yeah, anymore. I know. But like, just to think that, I just think he's just a liar. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think he just doesn't like black women. And yeah, he doesn't I, want to, he doesn't, he can't, he knows he can't fully say that with his chest. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. So he invents these stories, yeah. basically, to kind of rewrite his history to say that he was a victim and it gives him a legitimate reason why he can shit on black women. Yeah, yeah I hear, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I want to move away from James. Who, who, who me, wasn't but... bullied? 
I think, I think this is the thing. When we talk like, about school experiences, yeah, no, no, we, we can all talk about <laughs> being bullied, <laughs> but it doesn't inform everything. This, this is, is what I'm saying. But because no, 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 can, can, I, can I just okay, say, yeah, okay. I know like um, a couple of black women who were bullied by black men yeah. when mm -hmm. they were in school and cussed them about their looks mm -hmm. and like, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? That they were like treating them like boys, yeah, like, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and, thingy. Yeah. and they have been able to find a black man that loves them. Yeah. Yeah. They don't turn around and I'm not saying that should be everyone's experience, but I'm just saying that that, that is also a truth. Yeah. In I think yeah. you know that's what I mean? too. I'm, 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 you know? I think because cause that then it doesn't what, switch you it's off. what um, London is saying, but it did Switch her off, for example. Switch her off. Yeah, yeah. so I'm saying, I, 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 it's not a blanket situation. I don't know if it's but, switched but it her off because she weren't getting That's hurt. what I was going to say. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't think it's switched her no, off. No, I'm saying she in just the moment, wanted options. In that moment, she didn't have options. So mm. in that, because I, me, my point is, I've, I have had time. I've, ne I've never, what she said, like, I've been so insulted. I've never really been insulted, but not necessarily being picked all the time has a, does have a bit of a wear and tear on you. But I've also never thought, okay, I'm going to start dating white. That's not been my thing. So I'm just not attracted to white men. So that's never been a thing. It's not been a, a choice for me, but there are women out there be like, I'm not going to let this moment, these, this insult, this disrespect, this neglect, stop me from moving forward with my life. And there are people that genuinely say, I was disrespected by this group of people, so I chose another set of people. And I'm just saying that men say the same thing and I'm less sympathetic to them when they say it. And I'm more sympathetic to women when, black women when they say it. Yeah, yeah, no, because I, I and that's, that's the How, part. It's I, a lie. Yeah. I think it's a lie when okay. men say it. I think they are literally lying. I think all men but, are lying if they say that. I would say, <laughs> let, let's, <laughs> let's give it a percentage. People, people. 95% mm. of them that use that as an excuse heard it and was like, ah, yeah. that's great. Perfect. And they are lying like <laughs> because it's about <laughs> stating yeah. Yeah. And the, the, and what they need to step into that. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with yes. your. It's not even purely on your preference. Your preference leads to how other people talk mm -hmm. to you, how mm -hmm. they treat you, and you know that that first time you got that white girlfriend, mm -hmm. you got elevated you a little better. bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was, there was an elevation yeah. mm -hmm. and your brethren saw that elevation mm -hmm. and they decide mm -hmm. and, and it catches. I think mm -hmm. that's what it is. They're lying. they stage where they know that they can no longer get away with just saying it's because black girls yeah. are like this. It's mm -hmm. because black girls are like that. You're too angry. You're too mm -hmm. this. It, it's more sympathetic if they're like, oh, you know, I had really bad experiences. Yeah, I was so bullied. And I was bullied. And, it was so you know, rude. It was really hard. Like, or, seriously. They just, they, like that I'm just not the boys. black man yes. that, I'm they just not the black man that they were attracted to. So I just friends couldn't don't get any. I mean, girls. the women don't give them that sympathy. Their boys are like, oh yeah, yeah, it's true. No, they don't. This is the we, thing. Can you imagine, simplify? as a big old 30 year old man, you're, you're crying about uh, when you was 10. No. <laughs> that Chantel used to call you names. Like, they're not going to, they're not going to give Sympathy. No, they're not going to. No, they're not. It's, I, I actually Has think it's just a social media excuse. It's, yes. it's, it's when yeah. they're in yeah, the, in the space is. to mm -hmm. be talking about their preferences or when, like James, when you're going to be shitting on black women or you're, you're like, you spotted I shitted on them. No, no, but I don't mean to shit on them. So mm. now I have to reveal something. It's yeah. just, mm. you're just playing I psychology James tricks. Is, James. No, James is represent. The um, two of them are representative to a problem that yes. we have that, that's, in Black yeah. British yeah. communities. We have this problem, yes, and there are do. loads of guys that think exactly the same yeah. way. Mm -hmm. That's why nothing is going to happen to their pod over here exactly. or in Europe. Yeah. Exactly. But in America, it will fare different because their racial lines are very different to us, and there is differences. Mm -hmm. There are the, like the kind of mixing they don't mix like is females. not the same yeah. as over here, and that's what they got an insight into, actually. Mm. Okay, you guys used to talk about this, but I see it. Mm. I, I, I see a difference. And over here, it wasn't, it's not the same type of backlash. No. You're not getting so many men talking about them like you are American men talking about them. Yeah, because most you, men here sure. are like... There's, I've there's been a lot of that's me. I'm, I'm too. <laughs> yes, I, it's, I'm it's too. Yes. Say the same I, me too. Do you there's know what I mean? That was kicking. That's yes. what I yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of time. Start weed. freaking silence, yeah. man. Have any of you dated white? Nope. No. I went on. I haven't spoken about it. Actually, I was just thinking. <laughs> have I said the story? So there was one dude who chats me in Camden, mm -hmm. but he was a black white dude. So let's call him. <laughs> <laughs> Black white. Sorry, what does that mean? He was from Camden. It means all his mates were black. He had a bit of a flavor. Did he have a face? Did he have a? Did he speak? And he's black. Black and Westwood. Now, not like Westwood. Not like Westwood. No, no, like literally. Like all the black guys. Black is that? Oh fuck! Black is that? From Love Island. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Black is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> and all of his like... brethren were black as well. And so, yeah, so he chirped me in Camden. And I remember I turned, I turned to Femi and I was like, God, I mean, he's not bad. Oh, but experiment, innit? It's not really my thing. And obviously, you know how my friends are. It's kind of like, you should just go on a date. Yeah. That's like, you know how my it. friends are. This is how we yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, do your thing. Let's see where it goes. Mm. Like, so I was the first one to, to do it. And I went on a date with him. And that was a nice date. Yeah. And then I was going to Luton to university. <laughs> so obviously, I'm moving out of London. Yeah. Told him, moving out of London. <laughs> Um, he was like, it's cool, I'll come down. And then I met somebody in Luton, so I was trying to phase him out. Oh. And he went full stereotypical white guy on me. Oh. What do you mean? And what he was mean? shouting down the phone. What? Literally, I was scared. I was like, what? <laughs> because there is that thing that maybe oh. they will like, hit a girl. Kill you. <laughs> <laughs> He went that, nuts. Wait, sorry, you have that stereotype. I don't know that stereotype. Oh, really? As in, like, don't date me. I live in Camden. Oh. So, just, like, yeah. when you... Sorry, when Camden, you're Camden. Sorry, like, when you see things on the States, like mm. the fights, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. usually the working class white guys mm. trying to beat up their missus. Mm. So oh. I already oh. had that thing of, like... This nah, is Nana's lived experience, yes. though, by the way. Violence. Yeah. Yeah. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. So he went nuts on the phone. Like, he's in a phone box. Call it... <laughs> Calling me on my mobile. Sorry. <laughs> He's in the phone box. He shouted. Was he banging the phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I know exactly the same. Yeah. 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 He's going nuts. Like, what do you mean? We're not together. And I'm thinking we've done two days. Oh my god. Oh, wow. I even slept no, with you, bro. Oh, like god. literally, it's like we're just getting to know each other. Ew. And yeah, there wasn't blockages then. I don't remember being able to block the number. I mm. think I just avoided and then he yeah. left me alone after. But I was scared wow. for a little while when I went home. Like oh, just, yeah. like, you know, because he lives in Camden too. Like, am I going to see him? Oh my God. Yeah. He's going to pop out. I was very scared. So he marred the experience <laughs> evermore. <laughs> I, I just fancied white boys in my, because by, by default is what's around you. But I always, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I always found, I think in my primary school, it was very white. But there was a mixed race boy. Big up you. Um, and he was I was like, oh, I fancy him. Just, I don't know. It was, I was just looking for the colour. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just, to, it's just never been a thing not for a me. I'm not even um even, even the chirps in? I, I have never been chirps and I have never chirps. I, it's just not been my world. Oh, oh I dated a, guy, a, a two. One. Oh, you're a dabbler. Oh, yeah, like swirl. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. this was when I was I was in you. Mm, don't, like don't give too much away. Don't give too much away. Don't give too much away. Okay, so I was seeing a guy that I was obsessed with, right? Like a black guy that I was obsessed with. Oh, okay. I loved him, yeah. Uh -huh. And he done something to me, so I was just so heartbroken. And <gasps> so I knew the whites. I knew that if I dated white, he would be really pissed off. Oh. So me and my friend, we went out and she was just like, tonight's night, let's do it. Oh. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And um, literally, <laughs> this is so bad. I hope I hope he doesn't find this. But literally, he the first guy. <laughs> he was in a club that we went to in Brixton was where it? like it was like mixed. Because you know not all the clubs spicy in Brixton. Or was it spicy standard. or like... Standard, yeah. It's the city. club was mixed. What do you mean? Like, what type of guy was he? Oh, no, no, no. He was... He was standard, but good looking standard. Okay. Quite, yeah, he was he was a good looking white guy. Okay. Definitely. Okay. But he was in this club that was for black people. Right. Yeah, do you know <laughs> what I mean? So I was just like, okay, cool. Cause you're here and you seem like you look yeah, comfortable. Yes. You know the natives, yeah. you understand yeah. the natives. This was a long time ago, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so my friend pinched his bum. Don't do this now. It's not that loud. Is yes, yeah. <laughs> my friend pinched his bum and then she moved out of the way and he turned around and thought it was, it was me. You. Essentially, uh, one of those. Ones. Yeah, Don't put a trip. that could have been yeah. like a lifelong story. We got married. <laughs> no, it ended badly. Uh, oh, um, oh. oh so yeah, so like we 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 you know talking went on dates and stuff and everything like that. Um, he didn't think I was interested for some reason. Because you were actually no, I know why he thought it was such a random reason because I wore Timberlands to the to the date. Because you didn't dress what? up enough. You didn't wear heels. Yeah, I was basically. wearing Timberlands, but you know back oh, then. Oh, okay. Yeah, he didn't know that. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I. I didn't know what to did, wear. He didn't know the culture. He didn't know the culture. He didn't know the culture. Yeah. The culture. But yeah, he would have known that was just I don't, snap. Do you know what I mean? Timberland. I don't know. Timberland. But he was yeah. just like, 
I didn't sh I didn't know with her because okay. she I was just like okay cool so like I didn't know also at the time that he was loaded he was very, very uh, oh you missed out as yeah. well he was fishing. I, I, yeah he was he was very well off he had a very nice car like he just had all the nice things and um yeah, so we were we were together for a bit. I'm not gonna lie, and he was oh. very sweet. He used to write me notes and put them in the oh, fridge and so under my cute. pillow and in my it. bag and all this kind of stuff. Very very sweet. He used to drop me to uni, pick me up. Didn't have to fling it anywhere. But he didn't live in London, uh. and um, uh, his ex. Uh, and him had a house together and what? they were selling the house, right? Uh, Do you know what I mean? So at one point we broke up and I can't even remember why and he just disappeared and I was just like, this is freaking odd. Mm -hmm. But okay, cool, we're done. It's not a thing. Then a week later he calls me. It's just like, you know what? I'm so in love with you, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, are you just saying this because we had an argument or whatever <laughs> kind of thing? But I was just like, okay, cool. Um, gave him another chance. He was just like, because he's in the house, he came to live with me. So it was living oh. together. Yeah, it was. It was. Oh, it was real. It? it was real. Yeah, okay. I lost friends. Your family, no. Okay. N my my fam. Some of them Not, mm. wasn't the greatest. Didn't his thing. Yeah, why we kind of broke up. He wanted me to take him home, and I was just like, "Don't know about that," you know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't know about that. I was. Just, I was shook. I was absolutely shook because. I can't lie, before my dad died, he did say no white men. He did say that. So I had that in my mind. Yeah. And because my dad died when I was young, I was just like, it was yeah. very like, yeah. I'm betraying Un yeah. his thing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I didn't want to bring him home at all. Like, and it just kept on going back and forth because I've met his mom. Oh, oh. That, was, that was, that's a story for another day. But that <laughs> was, I had to put my food on his plate because I couldn't eat it. It was horrible. Uh, but um uh, but she was very sweet. Met his dad and stuff, met his sister. Um you were in yeah. it, not oh, one so, then, so he didn't meet any Mm -mm. No, oh, no. Like side this this no. is the thing though, it ain't a simple thing. It no, is it's integrate, and, it's not. Yeah. It's difficult. <laughs> no, it's not. So, I'm just, so it's, it's a thing. what happened was, I can't even remember why, but he had pissed me off about something. And I was just like, hmm, let me call his workplace. I went through his phone, I think, as well. And I saw something, he looked off and I thought, let me call his workplace, talk to his friend. I was just like, does he actually, re is he in this? Like, is he a hundred percent is this? Cause he talks to his friend every day, mm -hmm. right? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 he really likes you, Shadi, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Yeah, like he was cut up when he came back from Spain. Uh, he went to Spain. When? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, because he, you know, you know when he tried to rekindle things with. Okay. Love bombing you because he was trying to get over. Right. I was Mate. just like, okay, cool. All right, no problem, no problem. Thanks. You've been very helpful. Do you know what I mean? So then he's his friend is just like, oh shit, what have I yeah, done? Yeah, you, you know what I mean. Me and my big mouth. Seriously. Like, Whoops. But so yeah, anyway, it kind mean. of got it. It went a little bit left. I gave him a date of when he had to leave. Yeah, and it was. Did he leave? Wow. Yeah, yeah, he did in the end. But maybe I threw all of his stuff out. I mean, that's fair. All that kind of stuff. Well, like, do you know what I mean? But yeah, that's it was amazing. very. It was a challenge. It was, it was a challenge. <laughs> and the grass is not always greener or whiter. It isn't. But yeah, it was it's difficult. Not, it's, it's not for everybody. And I really wouldn't do it again. The other guy was just like a casual thing. And um, yeah, it wasn't, it just wasn't what I thought it was. I had a crush. Mm -hmm. Like, do you know what I mean? And like, yeah. And not then all, it was just like, mm, not all no, grapes. you're weird. Mm, yeah, not all grapes. You're actually weird. I think it's not simple. My yeah. sister has always said that she is like, she probably wouldn't. My sister has a mixed race son. So mm. I probably wouldn't do that again. Oh, wow. Mm. Just culturally, it's so different. And then even losing Rob, um, my nephew's dad, he died suddenly mm -hmm. and having to deal with his family. Mm. Mm. Mate. And that's on the outside, it's like my sister, but I, I love her so dearly. So it, it affects me of just course. how hard it was trying to connect with this family that had so many, and I, I, don't, I don't think they're racist. Mm. They just don't know black people. Mm. Okay. So they have their way. And then we have ours where we can be a bit more accommodating to their ways. Mm. And they were literally not. It's literally like, no. How you're doing this is wrong. It's like everything that they wanted to do, this is right. And what you want to do, that's just wrong. And it's just that. 
which probably is steeped in racism. Yeah. But that's society. Yeah. Though. yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Because like, we, like how we do we it accommodate. Is the right way. Like we're every single step, we're always accommodating. Yeah. And I, I actually remember when I was working, I was just like, I am not doing that anymore. I'm yeah. not doing it. Seriously, why should I have to adjust myself to make you comfortable? Mm. Th- this is not it. doing this it. This is it. That's what we found with the family. It was very hard. Mm. It definitely was like it's not a an easy kind of tightrope to to navigate. And this... so, do you you have to know what you're choosing? Actually, mm. what you're going into. Mm. I wonder because I think that's a conversation that's never spoken about for all the guys in the UK, the black guys in the UK who do date outside of their race. Like, I don't you don't hear those conversations. Ever. Like what they lose. Like what they lose, what they go through. And it's usually, again, put on our show. Like, oh, yeah, the black women, my sister didn't speak to me. And then I see black women on the street and they're making me feel some type of way. But actually, what is going on in your actual home? Are you even allowed in the family home at Christmas and things like that? Are you, you know, but it's like, people don't talk <laughs> about it. Imagine being outside, like, can I get some more gravy? Please, please, sir, can I have some more? Out the window. Yeah, yeah. You know what, though? No, it's, um, but that's not a conversation I've heard. I know. They don't talk you about don't, it. You don't see it. And I, I don't know of a guy really being honest and stating it. I can only go on what I've witnessed with some family members mm. and and the men have lost themselves. Mm. Because mm. your that. culture, you can't bring to the table. And exactly, that assimilation usually is a distance from your home, from your cousins, from your aunts, from your mum. There is a distance there. And I've seen it time and time again that they actually just... Kind of, either they move out of London, that's very prevalent, mm. and you don't see them again. And I forgot what I was going to say. I forgot what I was going to say. I know, it's just difficult. I don't think I'll do it again, to be honest. Not on purpose, for sure. <laughs> I was, I have an what does on purpose mean? She can trip and say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, no. Just like, like one day it's like it's happened. It's just, you know, like, I wouldn't. I, I, you know, like you have your preferences. Okay. That's yeah, not your preference like, isn't always. I mean, Bar Freddy. Because he's yeah, you like beautiful. Him. Yeah, do you know what I mean? My, my ex was kind of that kind of caliber. Oh, okay, okay. So if Freddie, caliber, if Freddie came yeah. along, is that wrong? Can you not say no? Caliber? No, you're right. I'm just oh, not because I, I was like the agreeing. And I was okay. like, yeah, oh. I want to separate my agreements from the right. caliber. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to be like, I understand what yeah. he looks yeah. like now. <laughs> I don't know these freight because you can't describe people. No, how but you're right. You're right. Yeah. You're definitely like right. It. Yeah. it was me separating from the caliber. You literally flushed. <laughs> oh, I wish I could. My yeah, he likes already, you know. I, know. I love him. I mean, yeah, I would like. <laughs> anyway, it's fun. But I did, yeah, I don't know. But my preference. Where is are we at? Dark skin male. It's London Hughes's experience. Yes. Yeah. Leave her alone. She I've not. Gigs, for for those thing. who wanted to know, I've not dated white. You've not dabbled. No. I thought you didn't want to answer. No. Oh, oh, take I the didn't, numbers. You didn't get to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking at you from no, 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 in a bad way. I was really. Would, would you though? I doubt it. Hmm. Because of all the cultural things that we've said, mm-hmm. that's why I doubt it. Mm-hmm. I haven't. I can't say I've ever been really attracted to a white guy because mm-hmm. my preference is dark skinned black men. Yeah. Do not we to all say have that, the same not preference? To, not to say that dark- I don't go in down in scale. Yeah. Like my yeah. preference is black men. I like yeah. black men. Me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If like if I was to pick my guy out and chisel him, he's gonna be at least six foot three. Four, Five, maybe. Oh, wow. Mm. Six, five. Six, uh, <laughs> For real, I, thought, I, remember, I, re- I remember the man mountain that man. you showed me the other day. He's a very tall guy. Yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> you know, that's my preference, but I, do, I, don't, I would come shorter, not yeah. too short. I would go shorter. Why would you? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Uh, What's it got to do with any of you? I mean, and lighter on you the scale pre- too. You not prefer, but you don't mind a short man. That's You're yeah. the only one among us that doesn't mind yeah. a short man. So... Your preference hey. in short. So no, preference it's not preference. No, 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 it's not it's a preference. I, I, I but, like, but I mean, like, but she doesn't mind. You don't mind if they're actually shorter than you. Yeah, or I, still have you don't mind them. seeing over their head. She doesn't mind seeing <laughs> okay. over their head. You guys have been insulting. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. I'm not going to debate myself out. Too okay. Much. Here's my thing. First of all, black men all day, every day. Yeah. I have a rolling scale of preference yeah. when it comes to the skin tone. Um, height. I mean, I'm short anyway, so most guys have been taller than me. I have been out of a guy the same height as me, and I've been with a guy, because he's the same height, if I wore heels, but it was back in the day, so I didn't really have to wear heels. I was a bit taller than him. I'm so far, and then there's one... Pl- <laughs> what one- is that? <laughs> She's thinking, I can see her wrist. Yeah, but 
I'm I mean, I it's not. I was thinking, can you could just wind it real quick as well. <laughs> 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 My thing is that um, there's actually I've not looked at it because I've never even before oh tall, dark, and handsome, that was always associated with white men, to be fair. Back in the for me, back in the okay, day, it was yeah. always associated with whiteness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I just like black boys, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um I never thought about the height because I was always shorter than them. The one particular guy who is shorter than me, <laughs> there's I don't know where it's come from, but there's a genuine attraction. And that's all it is. I don't know what it is. So it's not about, you know, when you meet someone who's like, I don't know why yeah. I like this person, but it's that. So that's why. He favours your type though. But in fact, he looks yeah, like he's, 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 he's so your type. In it. He's a, so your type. In the face. So that's, yeah. that, I think that's what it is in certain. But other than that, I don't have this thing that you guys have that you find short people are hilarious. Short people. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 don't be putting that shit on our mouths. We did not say that. No, no, you didn't know. I thought that was No, no, no. That was absolutely dare you. In real time. Say that. Look, she can't stop laughing. She finds short men hilarious. I don't think that's true. Short black men. I don't think that's true. No. How you... Always try and spin it. It just cracks me up. I'm not spinning it. It's a no, no, no. It's not heightest in it. It's cool. I know, but I, I, I just wanted to know it. how lucky you are. Know <laughs> you are mocking little the precious, thing. Look, precious man. <laughs> you're mocking all of you. Are mocking I'm short men. <laughs> But that's not, We're I don't not mind, mocking I, short men. I, you know what? To be fair, in yeah. 20 years, this might not age well. We're not mocking short men. men. Not for me. We're gonna be short everywhere. It might be. We're not, <laughs> they might be the dominant, <laughs> the dominant male. Might be, might be. You're in tears five foot. over short black men. Seriously. Oh, I'm not ever trying to spin it. I'm just saying said. this is what it is. I don't, I'm not high test. There's, I'm some, not there's high something no, no, for everybody. You're not, me, and I respect and I've said it. This before. Yeah, I yeah. just don't for share me. the same no, exactly. experiences. And yeah. no one's I, asking I like, I you like, really said what you like. And I'm set, I'm, let mountain. me finish my sentence. Uh, <laughs> I like <laughs> to feel like I'm in someone's arm. I, yeah. I, I like that too. You know, I, I want to be like, feeling. but how do you do that with the short <laughs> I don't enjoy that. Like, like, is it just heads in the neck? Listen, I'm not together. Been the guy, apart from the guy that's the same height as me, I've never been out with a guy shorter than me. You could just headbutt them at will. Look at you, you're making jokes. Seriously. No. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody is it, is it everybody Everyone does I've been out with has been taller than me, apart from that okay. one guy. That's okay. a fact. And he was your same height? Yeah, he was the same height as me. Okay. I've not he been looks... out with a guy shorter than me. So there was no <laughs> neck up at all? I'm 5'3". Five three or 5'4". Five <laughs> no, five but look at this, you lot are laughing. I'm it's laughing at Nana. That's just speaking No, but you're laughing because you made jokes. Don't try it off camera. You made jokes too. Don't try it. <laughs> no, you can't bring off camera in. You can't I bring off camera in. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, God, I can't take this, it. It needs to be a sacred space, man. Just a little bit. It's got to be a sacred space, man. It will never happen again. It will never happen again. <laughs> Ooh, that's jokes. <laughs> I don't know what she means. I don't know what she means. No, you've never done that. Ever. I've never done that. You've never done it Seriously. off camera. No, never but, said anything. Um, yeah. Everyone needs love. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing a great service. Oh, shit. I don't know why. Okay. Anyway, what's your preference, Nana, even though you're married? Do you uh, mind? Yeah. I should, I did, I did have a, a, a preference for a light skin, greasy head guy. <laughs> that that did light run through. Light, greasy head. Yeah, they that, you know, literally that, had to have that greasy like night look. Oh, that yeah, yeah. S curl. Why does it have to be greasy? That S curl look. Gel I know exactly. That's a very yeah. American 90s. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. Yeah. Genuine was the yeah. guy. That, mm. There's a few of them. Oh, that I hate it. That's so not my guy. Yeah. I like that type too. I like absolutely yeah. there. Mm -hmm. And like then um, as I matured, I think it's just more of a manly man. Mm. Mm -hmm. But he ca it, the color spectrum doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. But you have to have a preference for a dark skinned woman. Mm. That yeah. was the thing. So okay, yes. the color scale Sorry. was there, mm. but literally your preference had to be dark skinned. Okay. That mm. was that was probably the criteria. And I do like a kind of a broad shouldered, big armed, mm. yeah. a little bit of a belly. I found my dude. Um Method Man. That All is day my long. Yeah, so that's that's yeah, my ultimate tasty. like do you know he's what I mean? Tasty. I've loved him since Puberty. Yeah, he's tasty. <laughs> Do you not remember MC spectrum. Brains? He is a yeah, MC Brains. He's a good Brains looking Brains. Do you remember MC Brains? MC Brains was beautiful. No. Oh my oh. God. Gucci, Gucci, la, la, la. You need to look him up. He was, he was pretty. Hot. <laughs> what 
Everett man. He was out the same time as Jodeci. He like yeah. when Jodeci yeah, came over, always the in the magazines. Oh, like, to be fair, I was Jodeci's second album. Yeah, it was second album. Oh, okay. So when Jodeci came over and they came over with it was Father MC. It was, the, anyway, it was a bunch yeah. of them. Okay. Oh. MC, is he still about? about? No. Nah, he had like one, two tunes. And one, that was MC was on all the magazines, like hip hop magazines. Yeah, he was hot. And he was very, yeah. very pretty. Who yeah. would he look like He now? was the only he was probably... just a sharp, dark skin, very sharp feature. But he was just a pretty boy. Just a typical yeah. dark skin I'm pretty I'm not going to like him. Look at him and see. Uh, okay. Yeah, I would have liked him. Yeah. 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 He's like, he I do not boy. remember this dude though. He was just, do you know what? He wasn't famous that much. No, he was He was a pretty boy. And he was in a video, Flavor Unit's video, Queen Latifah. I think he was part of Favour Unit when they, you know they have all the artists under one camp. But um, I think oh, I haven't got okay, it. Wrong. Okay. I wanted to ask, like, with um, okay. you know what? He's all right. Know when people say dark skinned men represent that masculinity? Is that a thing? Do you think, like, I think that's a universal mm. like dark like, men when they yeah when they're thinking of like what a man is, that's what people are thinking about a very chiseled, dark. like, tonk kind just of like. Not, yeah, black skin. It's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah, it's now a code on on reality shows. When they want a manly man, they mean black man. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. A black man in blanket or dark skin specific? I think mm. it's more dark skin. I think it's more dark. Yeah. Like mm. just, especially when they're going on like masculine. Yeah. Uh, the, my brother is like six two. He's dark skin. People say that he looks like me sometimes. He's I actually see that like. as a huge compliment. <laughs> he, he attracts women yeah. like yeah. a magnet. Got the face. Mm-hmm. I would have him come to my store every Sunday in Spitzfield. <laughs> <laughs> I would make... Uh, as a monkey in He needs him as bait. <laughs> yeah, I'll just come down. All you got to do is spend like two hours. He would just stand there. Mm. Women would come in and then I'd be there. This belt would look amazing on you. Yeah. <laughs> he would never like do the belt stuff. He would be there like, yeah, this looks good. Oh, mm. I made so much money when this guy wow. was around. It's like a beacon. Like yeah. this women folk would just come. I'd always be like, man, if I was a boy. Mm. <laughs> oh, do, you do you remember when, um, was it Sharon, what's her name, married to Ozzy Osbourne? Sure. Do you remember there was that, that TV show that they did and they said, what, what's the Osbournes? Show? Yeah, the Osbournes. No, it wasn't the show Osbournes, it's like a Channel 4 show or something. And they were talking to a lot of um, celebrities about something, I can't remember the topic, but her advert clip was, ooh, a black man. It's like, what's your fantasy or something oh, like really? that? And she said, ooh, a black man. And it always annoyed me. But that was like a clip <laughs> that went out. And it's that thing. But then, you know, when you look at the stats of dating, they say that, it's not that black men, you know, when they look at the Tinder swiping and all that type of stuff, they say that black men aren't as high up as you think. And the preference is either like white women, then maybe East Asian women, and then it goes down. And black men are a little bit down the bottom alongside us when it comes to that general perspective of attractiveness. Really? Yeah. I've, and so it's an interesting thing, like where, where that is, where it comes from. Because mm-hmm. I just assume that everyone wants a black man. I, mean, that's that's different, so. I, I don't know. I think like some... Those companies and their results are very I mean, question- sure. questionable yeah. because they manipulate the argue. Well, That's allegedly true. they manipulate the algorithm yeah. to that like so. screw, yeah. screw results. So like, yeah. I'm not too sure, but like, I do. Hmm, I think it's definitely um, great PR for black men, and they have run with it. Oh, of course they have. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? But also, <laughs> it's quite to you know when you see the industry and people just get you know especially the sports stars you know they, the narrative is they get f- everything thrown at them and mostly not I mean black women are there but then they're getting bombarded with everybody else mm-hmm. it's vagina yeah yeah they yeah. do they do well I don't think you'll ever really hear a black man complaining <laughs> of not getting oh, I think we're just how's it got me get girl everywhere me go yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> they do they, they, even if it is PR or spin yeah. they, they yeah. can do well whether or not it's serious mm. or they're being used, I think a lot mm-hmm. of them are being used. Oh, yeah. but I think they don't mind. Some, some of them, them some don't of them. have the. <laughs> some of them don't mind <laughs> range right. to understand. Well, I mean, it's it's, let it, let it, let it, it's, <clears throat> it's half past nine almost. Really? Oh, really? Do you okay. want to do another topic? Was there anything that is uh, what, what something else? we can get onto? Uh, what else did, did we have? I can't remember. Lots of things. Just looking. Lots of things. One of which can you remember? I mean, I have said my piece. Janet? Yeah, we didn't do Janet. Oh yeah, let's do Janet. We didn't do Janet. Okay, y'all. Okay, so 
unless you've been living under a rock the last few days, you would have missed that uh, Miss Janet Jackson, if you're nasty, she came out and she was interviewed by The Guardian and she was talking about how, you know, in her older years, she is more free and she she understands that she was under a lot of control and just going through her career highlights and her brothers and all the rest of it. And during the course of this interview, she came out and she said about uh, Vice President Kamala Harris that um, she said, I heard she's not black. That's what I heard, that she's Indian. <laughs> and then when the interviewer interjected and said, oh, she's actually both, Janet doubled down and said, well, I was told that they discovered that her dad was white. Um, and then he also then she also said either way the elections it's going to be mayhem so <laughs> <laughs> off the back of this she's been getting a lot of you know a lot of people have been coming for her and saying what are you doing like why are you saying this stuff about Kamala Harris like why are you saying this are you a Trump supporter in disguise like what is what is going on Janet so then apparently there was an apology that came out and, you know, saying that she takes back what she heard and it was false and she didn't know that she hadn't been watching the news and she didn't really understand what was happening. So someone claiming to be part of the Janet camp came out and apologised on her behalf. Then Miss Janet Jackson, if you're nasty, came out and said, hold on, wait a minute. I don't authorise this apology. I have not said, I have not said that I'm sorry. I do not authorise this. Those are not my words. I will retract said apology because I did not say that. During the course of all this hoo-ha, D.L. Hoogley, uh, Hoogley, 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 <laughs> he has come out and he's been basically saying that Janet is out of order for making these statements and she knows what she's doing. She, you know, she's not apologetic at all. She doesn't care. She, She's looking like she's a Trump supporter right now. And he also said, and I quote, <clears throat> all I know is Kamala looks like she did when she was in Oakland, but Janet don't look like she did when she was Penny. What the hell was in that iron? She, <laughs> she said, he said, is he wrong? He said, he said <laughs> <"Is he wrong?" clears throat> FYI, it's a little ironic to question whether someone is black and you breathing, these are D. Hughley's words, <laughs> and you're breathing through the nose of a white woman. So. <laughs> it's like, you don't want to laugh. <laughs> so. <laughs> but it's it truthful. Kamala looks the way she does. He's not finished. Oh, wow. Kamala looks the way she does because she has a mum from India and a dad from Jamaica. Janet Jackson looks the way she does because she has a plastic surgeon. Mm -hmm. DL, was it necessary to go in on Janet like that? It, yeah, I think that's the part which makes this a bit a bit sticky <laughs> because you don't nobody actually knows where Janet was coming from we can have like auntie you know Jan auntie Jan you didn't need to if you're not sure just it's all right for you to say moving on next question we're used to the Jacksons being elusive we're used to the Jacksons being a mystery and we're used to you queen auntie Janet to not being so accessible but I know you're trying to be more accessible because you're on tour you're trying to make sure that tickets I mean I think everything's sold out but just in case they're not, you're doing She's the tour. And really doing press. You're yeah. actually doing press. I get it. So maybe you're not really understanding. But with DL Hughley, <laughs> so ready to attack, though as a very acerbic comic that he is, who does, who cuts to the juggler all the time, you made some comments that we can't. It'll be hard to argue with. You didn't need to go in on her because actually, I don't think we actually none of us really know where her angles come from. Was she throwing shade or was she just a confused auntie? So you just decided to jump and cuss her. When a minute ago you were cussing Kamala before you had to, and he apologized. And he apologized. He did. did he? He, he did. Apologize. He did. Apologize. He, did. He, did. he did a big old public apology. He did. And he's campaigning. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yes, he is. Yeah. And he switched sides. Yeah. Like yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, he's no yeah. longer. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he's going in. I'm sorry, Miss Janet, but what the hell are you on a, on about? Like honestly, like. Are you serious? Do you not have a phone? Can you not Google? Like you're saying, oh, that's what they told me. Does everyone tell you everything? What bubble are you in? The like Jackson seriously. Bubble. Yes, and it needs to be popped. Like, <laughs> yeah. This is what she's trying you? to do. No, yeah, how yeah, yeah, dare yeah, 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 you? Seriously, yeah, yeah. you know the severity yeah, and the seriousness of what's happening in your country at the moment. Yeah. And you took this moment to throw shade at Kamala and to kind of take away from her blackness. How dare you? Seriously. For your whole family, 
family yeah. has been chipping away at their blackness <laughs> for decades. How dare you? Yeah. Seriously. No, I'm not. I'm not impressed at all. I think yeah. she needs a serious talking to. She done this on The Guardian, a freaking <laughs> global newspaper. Yeah. What are you doing? Your, your tour is sold out. You don't need to do this. You actually don't need to. You took this opportunity to, to, to take this message and give it like a platform. Nah, you didn't need to do that. You put a megaphone to it. It was unnecessary. Deeply unnecessary. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think, I could Janet be a Republican? Yeah. She could she be though. She could, could be. the Jackson family be Republicans and they just keep it to themselves? <laughs> And for some reason, Janet is like, look, I'm in my 50s now. I don't give a shit. Oh, shit. I'm talking. Yeah. So well, maybe she's just out here yeah. saying what she feels. I want to hear more from Janet. Yeah. <laughs> well. I want to hear more from her. Yeah. I would Because she always says that. I don't know what's going on in the world. You know what's going yeah, on. I, like This, this she gave right. me a little bit more sass to her. Yeah, she, she you know Janet's face. She's she's she face she she knows knows Janet's face. Yeah, yeah. she knows she's what she was saying, man. She's... But everything you said, I think, is spot on. Yeah. I think she knows what she's doing. She threw the cat amongst the pigeons. What I don't like, I don't like the amount of celebs that are like, leave Janet alone. Well, she's a big, bag. hardback auntie woman. Mm, like, yeah. let her defend herself. I've I don't got like to that. Say, mm -hmm. For this, she's an enemy. I mm -hmm. shall tell you for why. <laughs> What's in the Jafar Jackson are you talking about, Janet? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what you're dealing with. You are not living under a rock. K Kamala has been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. They've been talking about her identity for a long time. Mm -hmm. And also, what difference would it have made anyway? What is your point here? Mm -hmm. Your family is is intermingled. Right. Isn't it? It's mix and blend. Mm. Very right? much so. Look at your niece. Look at your nephews. nieces. Are you going to take look away your, from your them? Child. Your, yes. your child. Look at your child. Are it, you going to? Are you really taking cool. their blackness away from them? Are you? Is that what you're doing? Like what? Like what was your point here? What are you trying to achieve? I actually do think that she's a secret Trump supporter. Yeah. Because there's no reason for you to say that. You could have just said I don't. And actually. You could have just said, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm not in talking about politics. I'm here yeah, to talk about myself. She could have said, next she, question. She could have just She didn't need look. to say that because it, the, the <laughs> line of questioning power. was mm -hmm. people are voting for her because she's black. And that's why she was like, what is she black? You don't need to say that. She didn't need mm -hmm. to do that. Janet is not shady. stupid. Janet is shady. shady. She's been shady. She's been she, shady. She's been shady for a long time. You, all you got to do is listen to what Tupac said about her. She's been shady. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, she knows what yeah. she's doing. Seriously. She's like, as for mm. DL Krugly, <laughs> bro, you took it a little bit too far. Too far. I understand what you no, what, no, what you no, he no, took it a no, bit too far. I don't know because no, no, I'm about to I've got Stockholm yeah. syndrome, right? Okay. Okay. I, 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 got Janet I'm Jackson. saying, Jan go on, go on. Go I'm too saying, far. What's you took it too far because you don't need to talk about somebody's looks. <laughs> and I feel like he's just talking about she her looks. She, she, she did, though. She just, did. He, she just said she black. She it's did. different. Yeah. So DL is doing. She, she took it too far. She took it too far. Identity. She took yeah. it to identity. And she put a negative spin. She, absolutely. Like, her being absolutely. absolutely mixed with white, absolutely. Absolutely. which is the same absolutely. as her own child. So absolutely. actually, she's creating generational trauma she is. for her child. I'm, and I'm not That's saying that. I'm not saying that she's right. Further than DL. I am saying is that. What did he do? Yeah. He stated a fact. He did I feel laugh. like, I feel too like somebody like him yeah. could have got to the point without going so down and dirty in the ground. But, what, you got a small nose? But, but that's why He's I said... He's got to paint the picture. No, but I think... <laughs> he DL didn't say, is, you've got he a small got nose. No, no, I, 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 think, I think he painted the picture. Yeah. We knew his point. her nose ain't black. It, it ain't yeah. black. It's not she took all the really blackness. Yeah, her whole family took all the blackness out of their nose. Yeah. Yeah, they did. I am I just, I... The only thing I thought, because, okay, you guys said that you're very sure that Janet knew what she was doing. So I was a bit like, what was she, did she? So I was given a little bit of grace. So I felt like if you don't know exactly, you didn't need to say that, but I can't dispute what, refute what he said because it's fact what he said. And he's a comedian. DL is of the, yes. I say what I say and I am, I stand by what say I say. Say it as you see it. He's yeah. that guy. Yeah. He is that guy. I mean, it was just felt far because like I said, I've got, I, Janet, my artist, 
I loved Janet Jackson. So I've got that same And we always want to feel like Janet's the of, less yeah. plastic. And she's of the, the one, yeah. And that's what she has always <laughs> been, even though she's not necessarily. Of them all. <laughs> yeah. Of them all. The okay. Of a, a lesser one. No, yeah. it, it was. But that's all it is. I was it's shocked when shock. I read it too. Yeah, I really was shock. like, oh, yeah. It's a bit harsh. But it's like, it took me aback. It's, it's like, like someone saying something about Beyonce. It's like there's certain people that you're used to not having backlash. So everyone's initially reacting like, oh my God. But then yeah. when everyone has a little pause, they'd be like, Actually. But I'm with you. Yeah. I really haven't liked how people are coming to her defense. Yeah. Like there's all these positive Janet stories out. <laughs> like even, <laughs> even, even Eve has come yeah. out and said, you know, something happened to me, something horrible happened to her when mm. she was at VMA Awards or something like that. Mm. And she's like, and Janet was the one that came to my rescue. Yeah. Janet gave me I, a bit of bread and some hot sauce. So to be fair, when I saw that, I don't know if she personally said it was part of her memoir. So lots of memoirs. So it's it was, just who, it, it's just, someone it's just found that, to find that and took it. that out. I don't know if Eve perfect herself. Timing. Yeah, it was perfect, perfect timing. Yeah. 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 It wasn't necessarily Eve. It was the PR, the PR yeah. of it. Let's yeah. make yeah. her see. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's get back let's to Great Janet, guys. Yeah. Let's get back to Great Janet. So she went out of our box. The client went rogue and I need to reel it back in. She came back and doubled down. She doubled down on the She's like, I'm sold out. I can do what I can do what I want. She doubled down and said, what would you want from me? I did not apologize. Sometimes, and She's got she did a Trump. Us. That was not me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I was just thinking, do her, because they're like the same age group, Cam yeah, they are. And Kamala and Janet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah, they, they roll together? Yeah. Did they like fall out? Did they, did they have did a they man? Both, yeah. Yeah. Did they both yeah. have you know, a man they in common? Tell, I don't know. Like, yeah. some, because that was like, that was Mariah Carey. Like, that was yeah. Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> then. Yeah. I don't know yeah. that woman. It might be beef. It was absolutely giving Mariah Carey vibes. I don't know who that is. Seriously. Because check Is she black? Yeah, I don't know who that is. Yeah, it was like, like, I remember when she wasn't I heard, when she was fucking my man. I heard that she was <laughs> white. I've got, I've got a, a last minute. This is a Go. quick story mm. and it's just breaking. But Issa Rae has oh, responded yeah. to yeah. Amanda Seals. Yeah. What, now? Yeah. yeah. Now? Ish. Yeah, today. Okay. Well, yeah. What is its bus today? Mm -hmm. Basically, she was having a talk because you know she has her own Prosecco line. Mm -hmm. So yeah. she does kind of like wine and dines. Like she mm -hmm. will have a one-on-one -on -one chat with somebody. Sometimes she brings out other guests. And in this chat that she was having, she stated, uh, the question was, who would you not work with again? And Issa said, uh, well, I wouldn't work with somebody that goes on a podcast and chat shit about me. Mm -hmm. Probably Amanda Sills that <laughs> yeah. she's speaking about. She also she then... Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, or any of us. Um, but it was fair when we, we discussed mm. that. Um, she does also state that that whole thing that took place, she backed up what Amanda was saying. She did contact Amanda and she did leave it between her publicist and Amanda to sort out. Mm. So what people are saying is Amanda is vindicated because Amanda said this mm -hmm. and folks were like, no, Amanda, you're the problem. Mm -hmm. But now loads of people are like, you know what? Issa was the boss. And mm -hmm. as the boss, she probably did need to calm down the situation and not just leave it to these two women to sort out. Mm. Like she said she did do. Mm. And Amanda was saying that didn't feel like care. Do you think that Issa should have done more. Yeah. I said it then and I say it now. She's the boss. Mm. If, you're, if your member of staff treats one of your, your talent like that, it, you are supposed to set that right. You don't say, I'm going to leave it to you. She's your subordinate. You're, suppo you're yeah. supposed to put that in place, those things in place. Because she's, if she's done it to this person because she doesn't particularly like her, who else is she doing it to? She can fuck up your whole bag. Mm -hmm. She can fuck up your whole, uh, your whole um, company, your whole, you know, your reputation. Yes, that person, that person is a representation of you. Which is, mm -hmm. you can't just leave them to do what you're doing and just no. She, she was in the wrong. She absolutely was in the wrong. She's within her rights to say that she doesn't want to work with Amanda anymore if that's how she feels. But Amanda tried to address it at the time, and Issa's response was what it was. She's come out and she's now publicly admitted that. So. Yeah, I don't, um, I'm conflicted, right? Okay. Because my ex boss managing people hat is like, yes, you would definitely try and de-escalate mm -hmm. and resolve the situation for sure. Do you know what I mean? Because um, you've got work to do ultimately kind of thing. And like, you need people to work together. But like, at the same time, I do hear Issa's point, like they're both big women. So really, like some people, what I've learned actually from other people that I've worked with, that 
they look at it differently. So I would probably be more involved and try and find like a complete resolution between the people. But other people are just like, you know what? They're both big people, leave them to it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And like, I don't know if one is better than the other, really and mm. truly, because it depends on what your management style is, how much you want to get involved in all these kind of stuff. So like, it, the outcome wasn't great mm -hmm. for Amanda. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because she's not responsive to that management style. So you could say that there's a mistake there. Mm -hmm. However, I do think that, yeah, like that is very normal to say like, you're both adults, you got an issue. I've put you in touch with each other, try and resolve it. I think that that's, sorry to interrupt you guys. I think that that's valid in some scenarios. Mm. So if you have two members of staff that are working with each other and there's they don't get on for one reason or another, or someone's in one department, whatever it is, but they're on a level pegging and they don't get on, I think that's fair. Mm. But when you have, like, this is her, this is the talent. This is someone who's in the show. Mm. This is someone who, you know, is not on the same level as your PR person. Mm. I think you are both of their bosses. You should have the responsibility to maybe like even just, I'm not saying like to solve the situation, but maybe you should have took it upon yourself to get to be in a space, to be a mediator of that situation. Into, or at least what she should have done is reprimanded in some way her, the member of staff, you can't, you're not speaking for me. You've created this situation you're not speaking for me. You're speaking well, for my company, the, the, but you've gone out and on a on a limb and done this thing, which mm. is now having this massive impact. The girl did clarify. She did clarify and say that it wasn't. It's, I'm, I'm not saying that that she's done it in a convincing way, mm. but she did clarify and say this is not Issa. This is me. Like kind of thing. She did yeah. say that, and um, she said, you know, she was bold and she said, you know what it is. I don't like you. That's why this happened. And Amanda put down the phone. Do you know what I mean? And then so the girl called her back. And she was just like, why did you put that on the phone? She says, well, you don't like me. There's nothing more to say. Like, do you know what I mean? So it is like, okay, like, what do you do in that situation? Do you know what I mean? Like, because if you're, I, I don't think that's the best approach, by the way, guys. I don't yeah. think so. Do you know what I mean? But like in a moment where she might feel like the PR girl, I'm being honest about the situation. And I was going to go on to explain what my grievance is with you. You would just shut it down. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying it's right, but like, it's, not professional. it's just different, not, different. It's, it's, it's not professional, no. But people aren't perfect. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm, that's and right. like, if she really hated Amanda, she wouldn't have had the conversation. Do you know what I mean? Or even thingied the conversation anyway. Both of them wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? That like, had that conversation. So I just think there's just many ways to look at it, really. Like, I just don't, I don't know. Like the, the PR was wrong for her actions. There's definitely a relationship with her and Issa that is... Uh, so strong a bond that Issa didn't fire her for those actions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Kind of thing. So there's probably a bit more going on there or whatever. But like, what can you do? If you if you leave two people to talk, they should be able to work it out. They should be. If they're mm -hmm. both reasonable adults, you, mm -hmm. they should. Yeah. Um, I agree with everything, but I, I, I suppose I can see it from both sides as usual. But um, I was just thinking also from maybe from Issa's perspective and she didn't go into detail. Obviously, you're in a setting and you you're in an interview. You don't get a chance to say everything that you want to say and have a nuanced conversation about it. But we don't also know what Issa was going through as a showrunner and the lead actress and all that type of stuff. And it's not to take away from anything that Amanda was feeling. And Issa has a different style. She's not very vocal about her personal situation until she necessarily really wants to talk but she doesn't she's not the same as a man she's a different character so there's an element or we don't know what she was dealing with and if there's any and there was there was I think there was been conversation about tension between the two or like Amanda against everybody so though Amanda has come out and said she's got these she's neurodivergent and she's got a personality that though that that's a valid kind of diagnosis, this is how I am not everyone has the tool to deal with it. So maybe in that moment <clears throat> or in that series or in that group setting, she was someone that they couldn't deal with. And maybe Issa's like, I'm gonna leave you lot to it because I know how this can get. I'm protecting myself and my space. You two deal with it. And I'm hoping you can come to us. We don't actually know what happened after, after, afterwards. Did Issa even tell off the um, publicist and say like, come on now, da 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 da. What? And then the publicist was like, I tried to speak to her. And then Issa's like, okay, cool. You know what? Let's get on with it. Let's just, it is what it is. So I, I just, 
I don't know what Issa herself, it, and is she even a good manager? Is she even someone who's supposed to be in that position? But because by default, this was her show and her situation, she might not be a leader That's in why that you respect. put people around you. But I mean, it's like you... sometimes I think, sorry, I just think that sometimes we as we assume that the setup is as professional and levels like what you guys maybe what you what, might be used what I was to. gonna say what I was gonna say is it, as a showrunner she may not have been, had the skills to deal with those yeah. things but that's why you put people around you and you, you have to have a duty of care for the people that you are responsible for yeah, yeah. I believe to. that yeah. I understand and that she, and she didn't have the... that point of call right? yeah as Amanda points out she was that person mm. and I think it, it management style out of the window, integrity. Somebody has been dashed out of a space, was then mishandled by security, was then on live crying about this, and she is an employee of mine. And this was done by another employee of mine. We, free, have to talk on the phone. Mm -hmm. It's not a you two sort this out. Mm -hmm. It isn't, she said this about me to that person. No, actions were done and this person, because you decided I don't like her and dashed her out of a club, was put in harm's way. I have to be involved in that. That is for Issa to take responsibility and not be like, you're chatting shit about me on, on a pod. To actually be like, you know what? I mishandled that situation and I could have done better. You ain't got to work with Amanda yeah. again. But you have to okay. put your hand up and have some type of accountability that how I thought that they could sort this out it didn't even work. She may have done that and, and the publicist come back and is like, she put the phone down on me. It's not resolved. Mm. Yeah. So then I may have to be on the phone with the two of them and be like, look, you need to apologize to her because to dash somebody out of a black actor's space that had cast members there because you simply don't like her that's wrong. is not okay. Yeah. yeah. No, that's not okay. I think... I, would, mm, I yeah. want to know that... <laughs> I want more information. That's what I want. I that's think. that's that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Like I I don't want to invalidate Amanda's Amanda. mm. views, feelings, like what she experienced mm -hmm. and everything like that. But like often, I definitely from experience have seen being in a situation trying to resolve something and the people coming away with completely different versions mm -hmm. of mm. the events. Yeah, like, completely mm -hmm. different. So I just think like. Everyone has their own point of view, and it that it's just it's just all very valid. Do you know what I mean? It is. I think. Yeah. Um, it, Sorry, I was just going to say. I think that's. I think this, these are the things that. Not, not, is annoy not annoy me is the word. It's just we get these pieces and pockets, and then we have we're we're choosing to comment and react to it. I just I would like to know more because it's been. And I, it might be fair dues. It might be Issa's the villain in this, and Amanda is the victim in this. But I just, I just think we're. I, I'm. I'll speak for myself. That we're, I'm old enough to know that things don't necessarily go that way. And sometimes the title of boss, the title of employee, the title of things, especially in high pressure situations, is they're not always as signified as they are. There's, there's also there's always nuances. There's humanity. There's personalities. All this type of stuff. There's stress. There's issues. There's all this type of stuff. And I, I definitely understand like. People go at something and they have their own version of events. And I think in a, even in a corporate setting, I can't even give that an excuse. I just would love to know the whole story. I think I, I'll reside I, on the whole story. What I, what, I do, yeah. what I do think is that it goes back to, again, if Issa doesn't necessarily have the skills to deal with that, and she doesn't have to have the skills to, to deal with that, but she has a duty of care. And there are things that you can put in place. Like that show was on HBO, right? She's not making it in her backyard. Mm. She, it's not on. It, it, let me finish. It's not. It's, it's not online anymore. There are things and processes in place to manage those things. You can't just treat it like it's two brethren that have had a disagreement, and you're like, you know what, you lot are big women, you do it for her own safety as well. Mm. No, I agree you know, with the to, to, to make sure. Calls, but you know what, I I'm hearing you. Yeah. I really am. Like, I think, I think. Yes, and I think mm. like as those organisation, those it's likely that those things are already in place. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But like because of the casualness of sometimes yeah. relationships, mm -hmm. it is that that is the person that you go to. That is the conversation yeah. that you have, and you kind of like it. The lines can get very blurry, yeah. mm -hmm. especially when you're similar in age. Mm -hmm. You're doing similar things. Yeah. Your come is similar. Yeah. It yeah. can get very blurry. Yeah. And honestly, and maybe we don't even have time to get into this, but like being a black yes. Yes. 
female boss, yeah, has its a, a plethora of issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People have such expectations. They have zero grace. They really don't give a shit mm -hmm. about where you're coming from at all. And they think most of that underlining, they can do what you do. So yeah. they're very critical. Do you know what I mean? So I just don't know. I just don't, I just don't know. I can, I can clearly see it from both sides free sites yeah do you know mm -hmm. what i mean mm -hmm. i see I that as well and I, and I think because also it's definitely something about the setup being there and also even just as black i don't go to hr on this i don't want to get because then it starts to become an official thing and then the story is but the problem well, is i get it it became an official yeah. thing. no yeah. i get it that's i get the, it i get it but that was amanda because, yeah. yeah took it public yeah, yeah. and that's, that's why we became but that's another a thing. different of course. Well, she's not like, wrong you know, for that i'm not saying that she should no no absolutely that might be a situation where it's just like i'm not being heard so yeah yeah and that's also that's yeah Right. And exactly. that's, that's, that's also yeah. the right that's thing to do. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I can't sit here and say that I agree with how Issa handled that at all. No, that's I fine. I, I, because for me, yeah. <clears throat> as a black female fucking boss, mm. I have to say that you got to protect yourself as well. She didn't. Yeah. Issa did not protect herself yeah. yes. in that environment. She also didn't. Yeah, she yeah. didn't. Known how to. And she that's may, why the, she should but have. But she should have that. gone to the external points. Should have. Like, she may have, to be fair, mm -hmm. and that may have been encouraged. We don't know. Mm. And also, like her not being in that conversation may be her way of protecting herself. Yeah. Not saying it's right or wrong, mm. but like I just think like that yeah. might be her method. And but also, the thing, I, I, no, I, think, right. I think that's what she did yeah. because she also was like, I wasn't at. I was about to yes. say, so yeah. so you don't even mm -hmm. have yeah. to mention my name, but because she is your publicist, mm. yes. this is how she has contact with Amanda. Yeah. You are the point of call. And I understand it. I think lots of people, you, you're robust you're, you're robust because you've got the ideas, you can yeah. shape it together mm -hmm. and you don't get the training. It's like being a parent. Absolutely. You don't get the training, training. for that. Absolutely. But there is a point of, after the fact, this is years later, mm. you've heard what Amanda has said. Either you pick up the phone, you talk to her, you explain what it is, but it's that non-communication. That was a problem then as well. That's the thing. It's like, the girl was clearly saying, I felt like nobody cared about me. As the boss, even if you didn't, and you have your reasons why you didn't, there's still accountability. Yeah. There's still you still have to sit in, I yeah. was the boss in this situation. And I think when you throw it out on the employee all the time, you're not learning and you're gonna make the mm -hmm. same mistake again. It will happen yeah. because you're not thinking actually as the boss, I have to sit in my good big, you gotta put on your pants and it's gonna be uncomfortable. And, it's and maybe uncomfortable. I don't like her, but I have yep. to just reason it out because she was out there in the wind. And yeah. I think sometimes maybe you have to have, sit in that, and for maybe she'll come back in another conversation and do that. I maybe, hope so. and maybe I she's hope like, so. maybe she's like, I don't. It might be bigger than that. It might be like, I don't care. At, I don't the, very, like at the very it least, might be her thing. how she came well, across like, in the footage, it, might be her it, thing. It, felt, it felt like that. It at felt like I'm not We also don't know the other the, the dynamics of what they went through. We have only she has not necessarily spoken about what the dynamic was between her and Amanda, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so we actually have only heard Amanda's side of. We haven't heard hers, and I'm not giving an excuse because Issa could be a class A B word, but, but we just don't. Sorry know. to add to that, we haven't heard from um, Issa's side. We haven't heard from Yvonne. We haven't heard from anyone Amanda. else. We haven't. Everybody else. Yeah. We haven't heard from them. Mm -hmm. We've only heard Amanda. Yeah. So there seems to be like a wall of silence mm -hmm. in terms of like they're they're not talking about yeah. it. Yeah. But and we don't know the reasons why. Exactly. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like it's just like that's why I'm just like I like. Yeah, just again, that, that, like that silence that piques my sister. Me too. I'm, I can I can see why. I, I, I can <laughs> see. Yeah. I can yeah. tell you yeah. why, but it doesn't mean because there the, could be the absolute negative. It really it, doesn't. It, it could be it doesn't that they don't want to speak out against a black it, woman. Yes, do you know what it doesn't mean the negative. Yeah, it, yeah it, because it, this is what Amanda was saying as well that she didn't speak on yeah. it mm. because she held yes. uh, yeah. Issa in esteem and believes in what she represents. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? That could also be true on the other side mm -hmm. because if they come out and say what they experience it is, it could be seen as, do you know what I mean? A Any negative thing. Also as well, she's quite a, a vulnerable person. Mm -hmm. She comes across mm -hmm. quite a vulnerable person. They might be thinking about her mental health. Mm -hmm. Like, do you know what I mean? So there's a lot of things to consider. Yeah. It's in not this whole cut and dry. I, it isn't I cut and dry. Yeah. It isn't cut and dry mm -hmm. at all, but I just feel like uh, what I would like to hope, I would like to hope that she understands that in the pa in the position of power that you have, you cannot just be like, you lot sort it out amongst yourselves. Yeah. I would like to hope that she's learnt that. 
for herself. I don't know. Situation, Sometimes it's situation. not. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, I'm sorry. I'm I feel sorry. like you as a boss, as a boss, you, you have to when take you have people each, working no, no, under no. you. I think you honestly have to take each, each. But she situation has... and make the decision because sometimes it's not good for you to be in the weeds. It yeah. just isn't. It isn't. It doesn't work. But out you have term. to. And she might have been in that situation before, and it hasn't worked out. Do you know what I mean? So she there's ways like, of you know doing what? that though. Yeah, hundred percent. There are ways of doing that. But she called it. Maybe she made the wrong call on this one. But like. It's not always good to be in the weeds. No, it isn't. I, I think but it's I that. I think it's that. It is like sometimes you do make the wrong call and yeah. sometimes you have to throw up your hands and be like, I, I made it. the wrong call on this one. And she might be learning from that in her own time. That's what I'm saying. I and hope not. that she did. Mm. Let's see. That's that. Oh, we need Sage. I need sage. No, we ain't got to agree on shit at all. No, <laughs> like, I don't need sage. And and that's the whole thing of being a boss as well. You're yeah. not going to agree on no. shit. Yes, absolutely exactly. not. And, everyone's and that's okay. Have it. Piss me yeah. off daily. It's just okay. <laughs> it's fine. Do you know what I mean? Seriously. They are both <laughs> lovely like, women. Yeah. No. And yeah. I wish them both the best, and that mm. there's learning on both sides. Yeah. Even still, and the publicist, because actually. Well, she did try and explain. I was going to say you're the problem. But I, 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 the I think that's her bullshit, up. really. Do if I, you don't like somebody. I'm going to tell you why women. I don't like you and why you're not coming. Why in. should I listen to somebody telling me why I don't like, why they don't like me when I don't have anything against them? I would. Uh, and why they're kicking me out of a space. Why? Why, why, why are you going to listen to that? We don't know. <laughs> We and literally was, don't know. Yeah, that was it's, it's, it's a horrible thing. Are you going to stay on the phone to that? Very, very bizarre <clears throat> thing. Yeah. Like, it's just so bizarre. Personally... I can't promise I wouldn't throw hands. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I can't promise. Don't advocate violence, obviously. But do you know what I mean? Like, in the moment, it might have been, like, crazy because that is wild. Yeah. And you know Absolutely it's this wild. woman. It's like, you can yeah. just ignore me. Mm -hmm. I've been invited through somebody else. Why did you? You yeah. can just leave me alone. But you took it upon yourself to be like, I don't like you. You must leave. In. And then now I must sit down and listen to you telling me Why? Why? <laughs> It's like a, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, that's, it's a it's wild that because yeah. you can you can not like it's me, a wild right? Scenario. And you can have done what you've done, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then to try to tell me, yeah. and this is why I ain't gonna listen yeah, to that. But also, and also the way you said it, because how do you come bullshit. back to how are you supposed to respond? I don't like you. And then I was trying and to tell you, and you okay, didn't. why? No, I'm just like, like, okay. like not well, even like then you're then you're angry. Because I suppose what you expecting now to be like. I don't know. I don't know how you come back with that. Without, I think especially you, you, you don't want but then like you're angry either. because I don't want to listen to you. Yeah. Tell me why yeah. you don't I think, like me. I think it's the, the approach was wrong. <laughs> I think they, I think they were just. They, they, she put down the phone in it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So she was just like, "No, I'm gonna get yeah, the gonna worst word." You. And you I know what I mean? So like, and yeah. called her back. So like, that's wild as well. To hear what? Yeah. Don't you want to know why I don't Straight. like? No, I don't. No. I mean, you said it. What else? You is said there? you don't like me because you know what? You should, <laughs> led, you should have led with if you really wanted to resolve it. Really, you would have said. What you did on this aid is what I feel, and that's what caused me. It might not be the best explanation, but you start like that. You don't start with, I don't like you. Here's why. You don't start with, you, I've kicked you out. No, because <laughs> they're not like yeah, yeah, there, yeah. there could be a world where her kicking out is validated. Who knows? But the point <laughs> yeah, is, you don't, what, lead, you don't lead to I the think, person. And for say, my own selfish reasons, I want to know why. Yeah, she yeah, same. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just I want, yeah, for myself. Oh, like to hear I want to know why. Yeah, like, because, What's the because reason? what the hell? Like, yeah. how do you justify something yeah. like that? That yeah. is wild to me. Like, I just don't know. I feel like on Amanda's side, I'm... I would feel the same. I don't need to hear, especially if I don't have a thing against you. Mm. Okay, if you don't like me, call in it. Like, and, you, what the you hell? Don't, I don't know. Safe. This yeah. come from. Like, just... I, and I don't need to hear because you do. Da, da, da. Like, yeah. I, and because it's not going to do it's anything gonna, new. Yeah, it's like, not going to justify it. I, yeah, I just don't get that as a starting, like a, a kind of like resolve de escalation. You weren't trying yeah. to like that as a jumping off point. Yeah. It's to... terrible. Yes. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's like, bad. I don't like you. Like, and then here's yeah. why. Even... <laughs> do you know what I mean? Don't you want to know why? It's very mean girl. Yeah. 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 I don't it's like true. you. And I'm supposed to stand there and hear the thing. It's given very mean a girl. All righty, guys. Well, that has been your aunties could never. We've talked about a lot of things. We've told you who our enemies are. And we'll be back next week with more enemies. Um, I'm Auntie AK and I'm saying bye. Like, comment, subscribe to our channel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs>